Hey everyone, this is Ben Beck with you in the Midwest Model Shop. In today's episode of the Enterprise, what we're going to do is start working on the bow area in the focsal. We're going to kick it off with uh, some work on the anchors, and then we're going to switch to the focsal deck area. I think I'm saying that right. The bow, uh, and we're going to start working with the photo etch and putting things together. I do apologize. It's a little slow in the middle. There's a lot of talking and thinking out loud with the order of operations because you can't just throw this thing together uh, without getting some things right because you'll end up with having some fit issues down the road. Uh, big thanks to Kenneth at the Norwegian Model Shop. And again, I, for, I apologize, I didn't look up his name. I think it's Bill, Bob, one of those. There's a gentleman who's been uh, emailing Kenneth and I. He's already finished the enterprise and he's basically shared all of his notes. I'll get your name right, sir, in the next one. I do apologize, uh, but super helpful to making sure that these things work out right. Um, I, like I said, super, super busy June. And so I'm just trying to do what I, I said I'd do what I can when I could, and so that's kind of what this video is here. But I'm, I'm really stoked about how the ships come along. This is the kind of stuff that I really enjoy doing. Um, the colors look right. The photo etch is fun. Pontos did a good job on this kit, and, and I'm really enjoying it. Once again, thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. We're still pressing on here and there when I get a chance with the um, Duchess of Kingston, and I'm almost ready to start filming the next episode of that. Thank you to everyone here who likes and subscribes and follows on this channel. I appreciate having all of you. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, folks, back in action, trying to uh, do stuff. We have here dry fitted a completely straight out of the box anchor, uh, which is very nice. And in typical fashion by Trumpeter, I have yet to have a ship uh, with them where this anchor works right in the uh, opening. So as you can see, there's a big, huge piece of plastic up in here. And this has to do with how Trumpeter is forced to mold the hulls together. It's two halves, the machine mold pulls straight away perpendicular from the center line, and you end up with this huge chunk of uh, plastic up there. Now, their intention, if you look at the instructions, if you look at KA and Pontos uh, and Trumper, it's, it's like, whoops, this kind of fell apart on me, but they want you to have the anchor hanging down, you know, from the chains real cool like this, right? But we want it stowed, stowed if it's, as if it's underway. And every one of my pictures, see if I can get this to sit here, says the anchor sits basically like this. Every one of them. So the problem is this arm of the anchor right here in the middle, uh, it only flexes this much. Let me turn it here so I can go in the right way this much this is it this is the amount of play that you get so you're looking at about that angle and it doesn't work so I have to come up with a solution I think the easiest thing to do looking inside of here this is now inside looking at our port uh, piece port side anchor way I think what I'll do is grind away a slot right in here and that should allow for this shaft to come through and then hopefully it will s allow the anchor to sit and hopefully it will allow the anchor to sit like this and then we get the arm going up and into uh, the not the chain locker, I forget what this is called. It's escaping me right now, I'm sorry I'm tired, but uh, basically where the chain comes through. You guys will comment down below. And then what I'll probably do is where my finger is back here, I'll block that off with just some black so that we're not confused about what's going on. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get some tools out and do that real quick. Okay, so with that reamed out, 
can basically that'll click in right and then uh, you've got both of them installed so I need to paint them up and glue them uh, and then in the inside here you can see I don't know if we'll create a little box we'll have to do something around here uh, to accommodate where the anchor is sticking out or what I'll do is I'll just cut it off flush because it sticks out there you go see how it's protruding past uh, so I could just put a flat piece of styrene over there because you know from the outside here we can't really see it looks good this will be what we want it's interesting because and I don't know what's right really here's the um, where the anchor chain comes down through the hoss pipe that's it that's the word I was looking for but like look where the hole is and look at the angle with which, like, it just doesn't line up, right? You would think, anyway, whatever. So, uh, we'll, I'll put some glue on those, on the anchors here. Uh, I'll start painting them up in a little bit. But what I want to do, really, is move on here to our bow foc'sle deck here area. We've got all kinds of stuff, courtesy of Pontos, that we want to do. This is why I bought the Pontos kit. I liked all of this metal down here is it necessary all these brass parts probably not probably absolutely not i don't think ka gives you near as much stuff they have you just clean off these details and and replace it with some of their 3d printed parts but i i like the brass so let's do that next all right here we go uh beginning our i'm, I'm gonna call it the foc'sle deck up in the front here um Panos instructions right away have you go ahead and remove this stuff in pink. I've gone ahead and uh, hit that with some black Sharpie just to know what I'm removing. I get asked a lot, how do you remove all this stuff? Um, I use cutters. So for like, you know, right here are these things. I have some flush and nip them off. And then for some of the things that are uh, more flush, I, I'm a fan of the curved blade exacto knife because you can get in and use some control make sure it's sharp and just push it right off and you can get it flush and then come back with a sanding stick you know and finish it off uh, you can go ahead and use a dremel if you want i've got one i just feel like um sometimes you're at risk of, of taking off a little too much and i just like to take it nice and slow and use these tools so we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and then we'll start with the photo etch. Pressing on. Okay, here we are with a bunch of parts on a series of events of things we got to take a look at. So first of all, our focal deck is all cleaned off nice and smooth. And I've got my uh, first four big brass pieces that are going to attach and they present the first fit questions uh, that I have and you may have and etc. Cetera, et cetera. First thing I'm going to do is say the same thing I've said about every single trumpeter one 200 scale ship that I've built, they are excellent out of the box kits. You don't need all this stuff. In fact, uh, the ship's fairly affordable. I mean, it's expensive, but you're going to spend the same amount, if not more, on the aftermarket as you are just the kit. Uh, so don't feel like you have to get all this stuff. Uh, back to the awesome fit. So there's a wall that uh, we're going to have to put some photo etch parts in. So check this out. I'm going to zoom in here. This is the front piece, uh, this bulkhead here, and you can see there's a big slot. Well, and there's some keyed pieces. If you just click that in, right? And then we got another wall here and a 45, and it's it's also keyed. You just push it down, and it's snapping in. This is not a snap tight kit, ladies and gentlemen. Click that side in. Look at that. Tight 45s, flush, ready to go. Sturdy, remarkably, very sturdy. Uh, so I could start my my fit process with the questions that I have uh, and that I want to discuss. So the first thing I did is I grabbed this big deck piece and I just set it on here. Right away I noticed a couple of things. One. It's slightly wider uh, than, the, than the kit deck. It overhangs a little bit. And I thought, okay, well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just need to make sure I get it centered. 
Uh, two, if we look right down here, let's see, get this centered up, and we look at uh, my um, Hossie pipes, you can see there's a little bit of a hole left over here, and this is also flat. Pontos' instruction shows like a pink, like remove type of thing. I'm pretty confident, let's see if I can get this lined up here, I'm going to have to uh, carve new slots. So I'm going to mark this out with a circle. Put the pencil here, sorry, trace this out. Uh, so, but we've got some tools for that. Uh, up here on the bow, um, I'm going to mark these out also. So I'm done throwing my pencil around. I'll double check my alignment here. Uh, it doesn't say to do this in the instructions, but there's the there's a little couple of loops on the very front bow. I think, and, and they're lower than this. I think if you carved away a little curve, you know, like a ramp that this is going down through those holes, that that wouldn't necessarily be incorrect. And there's a massive amount of uh, plastic right here leaving room for that. I think you could see here, if I hold it like so, just a little bit of the overlapping that's going on and that checks out uh, it actually works with the ship let's go ahead and bring the ship over here all right so here's our ship the bow if I go ahead and drop this piece in first of all on my example it fits fantastic there's like a perfect edge around here no trouble at all uh, these are the pieces here the little paravane front spots I was talking about so I think if I this one looks like I've got lined up wrong I'll double check it but I think if I carve away a little bit here that'll that'll work out uh, so my thought process was well if I leave this uh, here if I was to glue this in place first and then I brought this photo etch in and I glued it down it would overlap and cover my seam along the edge ever so. Um, there's a couple of little marks here from, for some bits. I'm, I think these need to be removed even though the instructions don't say so. Uh, and then you could run your railing along the edge and, and you would be good to go. I want to figure this out now so that, because I, I want to do all this work with this piece separate. The last thing I want to do right now is glue this thing onto the hull and be monkeying around with this. Uh, I've had people, i got to go back and double check my notes. I've been warned that you could run into issues with this piece. Uh, the, the, the first issue you're going to have right away is what's happening here. If you butt this piece of photo etch up against this bulkhead, then that means this piece has to sit on top of it. And then it's proud at the top. If I remove the deck and I set it on here, it's almost perfectly flush but then it pushes the deck piece forward just a little bit which isn't the worst because then I almost cover up my little hole there uh, but I do have to double check that that does not upset the fit of these pieces right here on the side again I, I kinda wanna get all these glued this all glued on without uh, having it attached to the ship because then I'll I'll work on these these walls and everything that step down to the next hangar deck right here separate so these are the thoughts that I have and I think I should I should probably go check on Kenneth's notes uh, at the Norwegian model shop he did all this already and my email from I think his name's Bill he got involved on this too we've all been kind of in cahoots with one another on this thing so I th I think what's gonna happen though is this bulkhead piece is going to go on first I mean ultimately glue these down right this bulkhead will go on first then we'll glue this deck into position and uh, I'll, I'll butt these side pieces up with where they're supposed to go um, and I think I'm gonna because this fits so well I might put some tape back here just to just to hold it in position so that I can glue this down. We'll use some E6000 glue. It's a rubbery glue. Uh, it sets up permanently in 24 hours, but you got a lot of time to monkey with it. 
and to hold this deck into place and then I can take it off, get the rest of my deck fittings on, paint it up. I can paint this lip and clean this up and when I'm ready, we'll just glue it into position. So that's the plan of attack. Let me, uh, I'll probably just glue these on once I know exactly what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna double check my notes and I'll come back with you with the final order of operations that I chose for this. Pressing on. Okay, here's the uh, primary pieces to the folks who glued into position. So uh, as you can see right here, I went ahead and hollowed out uh, this little area for our chains to go down into the trunks that lead out ultimately to the um, anchors, but they'll just be glued into position back here. I can see my two little pieces of tape and some putty that's been backfilled. I went ahead, you make out right there, a little bit of white there and a little bit of white there. I wanted to fill in that hole uh, along that edge. I thought that was annoying. Uh, up here on the bow is incorrect. The instructions do actually tell you to do what I said here, which was cut out a little uh, groove uh, that goes down. We'll ultimately, we'll have the paravane chains going through there. Uh, I did this with just a file. Uh, and then we're set. So as far as order of operations, this worked as I talked about before. I, I glued this um, bulkhead flush and flat to the plastic kit piece. I put this deck down first in front of it. That allows this kit piece to go all the way down. Uh, and then, you know, uh, just glued my little side piece on. And that was it. So now we're ready to press on with all of the accruements that go right here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, there's, the kit has you make four large reels. You only need two up here at the front, I think, to go right here. We're going to go ahead and uh, whip up two of those real quick. All right, here we go with our first couple of pieces. Um, I'm, I'm impressed with what has happened here. The, the quality of the etching is very high. Uh, these are slightly thicker pieces. They look really good. And then even the reel itself, uh, you can see there, uh, there's grooves turned into um, the reel where the cable is going to go. So you don't need to put cable in there. This is actually going to work out uh, real nicely by itself. So four pieces. This is the part you got to bend. Uh, nothing crazy complicated here. Initial testing proved that uh, these pieces fit together extremely well by themselves. Just drop that right on there. And then you've got some nice detail right on top. Repeat on the other side. Just go ahead and drop that in position. Okay, and then we got to build up, uh, fold up the stand for this thing. So here's our initial piece. You got these two little tabs on the side uh, that you can go ahead and just bend up. They're going to be the initial. Your initial fold's just at 90 degrees right there. Like so, and then we'll go to the uh, bender. So this piece actually slides right in between very nicely. Lock it down. Come up to 90. And then uh, the trick here is to just come back out. Stop right short here. And you're going to fold it back on itself like that. Leave it a little open. And then our tabs here on the end, they, uh, I think you can see right here how they're folded out a little bit. Make that out. So what we'll do is just grab them and tip them all the way back in. Like this and like this. All right, and then all we got to do is put a little bit of glue in between right here uh, and drop our big reel in that we made. So I'll just take a little CA glue 
you know, it, it's kind of, they're they're a little fiddly, but they're big. They're good practice for later on. You can get away with holding your holding these with your fingers for now, like that. And then we'll grab our reel. And you just, uh, there's a nice hole for the center shaft of the reel to line up with on both sides. Just do that. Give it a little clamp to hold it together. And you are set. That's what it looks like. And just set it down. And then, of course, you have to make two of them. And they're going to look like that, which is, you know, the detail on them is 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 really, really nice. So uh, I'm going to paint these separately because I'll prime them all blue. And then this cable on the inside, I believe, should be uh, a tan color uh, and not black. That's the right color line. So we'll, we'll do that. So all right, press it on. Okay, so now that we've made um, a couple parts, I, I went ahead and assembled a bunch of the other little sub-assemblies here, but I wanted to point out that you can see there's a bunch of holes. Uh, you need to drill these out ahead of time. For example, the bits that were right here, uh, Ponto says to use a one millimeter drill bit to install these. I used a 1.1 millimeter bit by God hand. Uh, which I recommend because then your part will fit in there nicely. Um, back here for the cat eyes, those need to be drilled out almost to the exact size of the hole in the photo etch, and they don't tell you what that size drill bit is. I just kind of worked my way up uh, until I matched and my cat eye dropped in. These two over here I guessed, and then all my tiny little holes, uh, I just went ahead and I think I went to like 0.8 millimeter. So these are the uh, small god hand drill bits that I use. And then this is the other set uh, that I use. These are a little bit more expensive, and they are worth every single penny if you can order them somewhere and pick them up. So now the next thing to discuss real quick is uh, this is deck blue, all right? But then all of our vertical surfaces, which would be the side and this big piece of photo etch right here, they need to be the sea blue that is the color of the hull. There are parts and things that get attached uh, right to this hull, right up along the edge or in, along the wall right there. Uh, so that means I need to pick out a, I need, <laughs> I need to put things on here and paint it. Uh, but leave room to mask everything off so I can paint this wall too. Or I need to paint this wall first immediately uh, and then come back, spray the other parts separately perhaps, and then uh, install them. And, and maybe, in fact, that is what I will do. The thing I wanted to point out, uh, if we look right here, see that glare? Zoom in a little bit. Oh, there we go. You can see it looks like a ladder. That's a nice little etch of a ladder, but there's that's it though. You don't get a ladder provided, um, and I that's slightly disappointing. Uh, there's also a couple little boxes here. I feel like something there was the intent to something go there, uh, but I, first of all, when this is all said and done, I doubt you'll see any of this. Uh, but I'm not I'm not seeing any parts. Uh, so, but I would be nice. I think probably to have a ladder right here. So I'm going to dig out um, a ladder from my spares box, and I'll glue, glue that into position. And then, um, yeah, we, i got to make up my mind here what I'm going to mask and install. I think what I will do next is mask off the deck. Well, I'll leave room to mask off the deck, and we'll, we'll install... Uh, We'll paint this next, and then we'll install the two parts that go here, including my ladder, and then I'll mask this off, and we'll get the deck uh, blue going down underneath right here, so that we can then install our parts and have a nice, you know, masked off line. Because otherwise, uh, what's going to end up happening is we'll we'll be in a situation where it's tight and we have a mess right there. Yeah. All right. Pressing on. All right, so the paint's on, and I apologize. I'm trying to get to something worth showing you guys, uh, but this is just kind of the order that things went. So this I'm, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I went ahead and threw on 
um, whatever that crate is, this box. And then as you can see, these surfaces are slightly raised on these four spots. I threw a little piece of styrene on there just to give it a little added dimension. I'm sure when I'm done, I won't see this at all, but that's okay, it makes me happy. Here's my ladder that I threw on out of my spares box. And from here, um, it adds some nice stuff. Okay, so I would have loved to have not had to paint all this. We could just have this giant field of brass to look at before painting it. But, you know, I went ahead and glued uh, this wall down first. And so because of the two tones, this is just kind of the best and easiest way to paint it. All right, so I've gone ahead though and cobbled together all of, almost all of the brass parts that get to sit uh, on the deck right there. There's some really tiny fittings that are left over. I still have to grab, but uh, these basically, I think they can all go into position. And um, yeah, they're, 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 yeah, we'll, go, we'll, we'll put them in position and then we'll paint up everything uh, on top of that. And that will take care of like just kind of this phase, right, of the assembly here. So let's go ahead and start doing that. All right, so I made these cat eyes uh, pretty early on here, and I'm putting them in first because I needed a slightly deeper, sorry, larger hole than what was there in the photo etch to get them to drop into position. So they have a lot of CA glue in there, and I want to make sure they don't go down too far. And then when we put the big parts in right here, uh, actually, those may need to go in right now. This way, they're, they're not in the way, and we don't have to worry about hitting anything. So, like this piece. It does have an orientation. I'm gonna try and get that right. So that looks good. Oh, need to change the battery real quick. Come back to you. All right, glue for the other one. Now hopefully you get you get the idea. You see how it would be a bummer to have to try and reach back in there for those other two uh, right at this point. Okay, those looks good. Now back to our cat eyes, these butt right up against it, like that. This might get interesting when I go to install the chain, we'll see. I might regret that decision, but I, I, I don't want to paint all these up uh, ahead of time because they'll just get damaged and then i got to touch them up again anyway. So, and I mean... Let's face it, they're just cooler to look at right now when you can see all the brass and all of their glory, right? There we go. Uh, I have had individuals put their models together. Uh, they've told me about it, and they leave all the brass exposed. Okay, we're going to put these plates on next. I did have a person once ask me, why are you painting all the brass? You did all this work and then you're covering it up. And I, I just told myself, because this is the way the ship was in real life. This is just to enhance the detail. I'm going to get a little more glue underneath here. That might have popped up from the other day. I'll stick it back down. But there's certainly nothing wrong with uh, putting the model together leaving all these brass details on so that you could see them. I mean, it looks cool. It's your model. Do it, uh, put it together however you want. All right, now we got these two big guys. One goes there. One goes here. Okay, so let's move up here a little bit. Uh, I've got these two hatches in the middle here that I've already made and I've opted to um, put them together in the closed closed position 
but you certainly can have them open if you want to. And then uh, see this little rectangular area? There's a railing that goes around these. We'll be putting those in. Got to dig that up also. A lot of this I don't think we're going to see when the ship's all put together. All right, so now uh, this is going to be a little bit tricky here, I think. Got these big plates that get installed, and what's tricky is you only have like a second or two. I, I might be better off using a uh, different glue. We're going to see how lucky I get here. Well, looks like we lucked out. Not too bad. All right, let's do the other one. Turn this so it's easier for me to see. Okay. Alright, too shabby, alright, then we have these guys, another there, and another one here, like that, okay, then, you can see I just scratched it there, um, so on the bow here we have uh, this really big piece that goes in and I'm gonna it's a kit part part of the gun stand and there's a platform I'm gonna worry about that more in a minute here um, start with these uh, the bits on the edges right here and I'm gonna put the plates down first I think oh you know what I forgot one other thing up here back up here there's two more two more pieces that get installed I got those made up this is where the uh, anchor chain disappears down inside of the locker. That, it's a nice piece. And one more. we are. Looks good, huh? Okay, now back over here, let's go to like, we'll start with this one. I want to, you could, I don't know, you could, you could do it however you want. You could put the bit together ahead of time, the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to try this method, dropping the plate on into position first, like so. And then we'll grab our bit piece, slobber a bunch of glue on. There. And the next one, like so. There we go. Uh, I think that looks really nice. So now all we got to do is the remaining four right here. So let's go ahead and knock those out. All right, that's done. I'm just going to go ahead and set these last two pieces on here just to look at because I want to paint the cable inside, and that's going to be hard to do while it's sitting in place. Uh, so it'll be a separate, paint it up separate and then glue it on after the fact, but I wanted to just kind of set it here. So that's what we have for now i think it looks really really nice and sharp um, next thing to do here is obviously paint it all up so it disappears like the color of the deck and then we have um, a bunch of little bits that go right in here uh, that are used for securing the anchor chain into position i gotta fold those up and get them glued into position i'll do that real quick here next okay here we are back with you uh so I, I put the little railing in. These are just set in place. And then I've got all the little, um, man, I don't remember the name. There's little fittings. 
And what's going to happen is, and they've been included in the photo etch this time, I believe, the chain will run along here, right? And these, um, they're, I forget the name, but they're basically little chains and come alongs that attach to the anchor chain. So it's not just all hanging on the weight of the, um, it's not cat eye, but the, you know, I mean, this part up here and then the locker. And you don't have to worry about just the brake that the cat eyes are controlling right here to keep everything in check. But that's a detail that previously I've had to model myself. And it looks like that photo etch has been provided this time, which I'm really, really excited about. So that's it. Uh, it's all in place. So what I'm going to do here to just kind of wrap up the video, I'm going to carefully paint all of this. Uh, these reels right here, they're still loose. I'm going to go ahead and paint them separately so I can get the tan. I believe that this, these lines were tan because they were handled for keeping the ship um, at docked and port and from floating off into the ocean. And then uh, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and spray all of this, the deck blue. Um, maybe some of the, I, I, I toyed with the idea of making the vertical pieces the same color, the sea blue up here, but I just, I don't know if that really mattered or they monkeyed with that a whole lot. Like I did it here in the back. I made the, the box um, blue and then the lid was the deck blue. And I, I might do that up here, but uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get the airbrush fired up get this get this painted up and uh, see how much more I'm gonna do here pressing on okay uh, wrapping it up I I went ahead and did some things I'm running out of time I'm tired and uh, this is basically all I, I can do for right now so I went ahead and put in the anchor chain stop chains this these are photo etch came with Ponto so I just uh, went off of the little anchor points and ran them over for the length that they were to the chain. Um, right or wrong, I think it looks cool. It's nice. I put these rails on, uh, light earth color AK paints with a uh, dark brown wash. And that was it. I haven't, I haven't weathered anything else yet. Um, I haven't put everything on here that's supposed to be on here yet, but I got the main chains on. And it looks good. You know, they just run through on the bottom and they get uh, super glued in the position right there. So I, I'm really excited about this. This is this is kind of my happy spot here. I love, love the color of this 1942 uh, deck blue from, uh, what are we doing, True North Paints here. we got to put our paravanes on the side. I don't think anything else happens on this back wall yet. Oh, we put paravanes on the front there, I think, over there. Uh, there's there's a ton of work to do, not, not to mention the whole big tub and gun port that goes right up on top. But um, this is really all I have time for right now. Uh, and I'm, I'm happy that I was able to do this. I've, I've enjoyed this part of the process a lot. Uh, let's set it on the ship, shall we? Okay, it's just, it's just sitting on there. Um, so obviously you can see there's a big difference between the non-weathered chunk of the hall and the weathered part of the hall. We'll have to do some monkeying around with that. Um, there's a railing that goes around it. There's some more bits that go on it. You know, there's, there's all this stuff that has to take place still. But, you know, I'm going to see if I can show you this. I just think that that deck blue... Uh, in combination with the sea blue, this measure 11 is really pleasing to the eye uh, for me. I'm 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 very happy with how this has turned out. And again, showing you all this right now because I suspect almost all of this is just going to disappear. You know, the flight deck is going to be over on top of it. There's a ton of stuff that goes in here, big tub. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's what we've got so far. So anyway, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and found it somewhat informative. Um, I'm, I'm super happy with how the, this is turning out, and I'm really looking forward to the rest of this build. Uh, I can't glue the bow in place yet, this stuff, because really, uh, panning back here, the stern section goes in first, and the main... Uh, hanger deck goes in, runs across, and then this piece 
sits in above it. They the stern the the hangar deck goes underneath, and this sits on top of it. So there's a few other things that have to happen first uh, before we can commit to gluing it into position. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to give it a thumbs up and a like down there. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider and do so because uh, I don't get to... Th these ships take a long time. And if you subscribe and hit the bell icon, you know, every once in a while when I get the video done, you'll be able to see it. You don't have to look for the shop. Anyway, that's it. Take care.